Yo, Worm Ohana. Hey, have you guys started a green waste yet in your backyard? You know, you can do it in any kind of container. Just make some big pukas in the bottom, some pukas in the side for aeration, and you're gonna dump in all your leaves and grass and garden waste and prunings and, you know, the food that you maybe don't wanna give to your worms, stuff like orange peels or uh, corn huskings or stuff that you'd rather not put in your bin. Anything can go in there. And uh, gosh, I love green waste piles. They're kind of my big junk pile. I use them for all kinds of stuff. But one of the things I like about them most is that they, they grow a lot of invertebrates. And um, we're gonna start the invertebrate invitational uh, this week. So we'll get onto that for a minute. But before we do that, I have a little something I wanna do with my green waste pile. Besides green waste, all my leaves, trimmings, garden waste, excess worm food, whatever. I also um, retire my cotton clothes in here. Yeah, I'm uh, real hard on clothes and generally I wear them beyond where I could donate them to Goodwill. They're pretty stained and torn and disgusting and have paint on them and all kinds of junk. So I uh, like to compost them in my green waste pile. So today I have some clothes I'm retiring. I have an old pair of jeans that's just truly junk and um, I have a really embarrassingly ratty uh, <clears throat> pair of underwear and this shirt that's just so gross. I mean, no one would wear this. It's just stained and gross and disgusting, but these are all cotton. Cotton is a plant. Plants get decomposed by fungi and bacteria and invertebrates. So instead of throwing them to the trash where they'd have to be transported and then burned and disappear from the earth forever, uh, I'm going to extend their life by putting them in my compost pile and composting them. So I'm just going to put them on top. Maybe I'll kind of hide my underwear there. There we go. And water them. And as you know, if you don't water your, your green waste once a week, it's just a rubbish pile. In order to make it compost, be sure you add the water. So I'm going to water them down. I'm going to really soak it good. And stuff like the zipper and the little rivets and, any, and the elastic bands or any non-biodegradable stuff, I'll be able to uh, filter out later when uh, I screen it. So I'll, I'll pick those, those non-biodegradable uh, pieces out later, but everything else is gonna get eaten up. And it'll be really fun to watch my clothes disappear. So I think this is a real good zero waste uh, solution to use clothing. Um, as you know, the zero waste philosophy says that nothing in nature is waste. It's all discarded materials can be used by someone else. And right now, my old clothes are gonna get used by a bunch of bacteria, fungi, and invertebrates who are going to chomp it up, poop it out, and turn it into rich soil. Fun, huh? Now, let's talk about some of the invertebrates that are both in our worm bin and in the green waste that I would like for you to know a whole lot more about. So, I love both the green waste and the worm bin because I love decomposers and I really, really love the invertebrates. Obviously, worms are my number one top fave, but I also love several of the others. And when we're uh, non-COVID, we do a class called the Invertebrate Invitational. And I think I figured out a way to do it uh, virtually with the Learn to Worm program. So listen up, you guys. We're gonna have uh, a chance to get up close and personal with my top 10 list of favorite invertebrates over the next few weeks. So this is first installment of the Invertebrate Invitational. And today I've invited our first invertebrate, the earwig, for you to get a little more information about and hopefully a chance to have in your own worm bin and or green waste pile. So I have collected a few of these guys. Now kids call them pincher bugs, but they don't pinch, they don't hurt you at all. You can handle them perfectly comfortably and know that they're not gonna hurt you. Hello, one just jumped off. There we go. Let me get, get one. Oh, there's a nice specimen. Okay, so, oh, there's two of them here. So you know these guys? 
These are the earwigs. They have a little forcep like pinchers in the back called Circe. They're used to scare guys and for various uses, but for the most part, they're, they're just hanging out. You don't have to worry about them. They won't pinch you. They're good for scaring people though. Does that work on you? I bet it has. Anyway, these guys won't hurt you at all. You can handle them all you want. This is a pretty nice one. It's got orange legs. Come back. Anyway, these are Phylum arthropoda, the joint-legged creatures of the class Insecta, and the order Hermaptera. Hermaptera means skin wig, skin wings. And underneath their four wings, which you'll be able to see much better when you get these in person, there's a pair of leathery wings that are folded up in there. They have wings, but they rarely fly. These guys live in our compost piles, our green waste piles, and our worm bins, and eat decaying organic matter. So they are part of the decomposer community, the invertebrate crew. Ah, there we go. Hi guys, they're so cool. They're a very, uh, <laughs> let me get a bunch. Here we go. I just love them. They're so pretty. And they're, they come in different colors. There's about 2,000 species. And you can Google them and look at some of the other ones around. But these are the common ones we find in our green waste piles and that also live happily in our worm bins. So like all insects, they have a head, thorax, abdomen, and six legs. They have a beaded antennae. And when you look carefully, you'll see that it's, it's little jointed antenna. It's so cool. And these actually have two colors in there. They're really cool. Anywho, there's an old wives tale that earwigs go into your ears at night and lay eggs in your brain, but don't believe that for a second. It's completely untrue. Earwigs are completely harmless and extremely helpful because they help to break things down. As you know, there's tens of thousands of different organisms in your worm bin and in any compost pile or green waste pile doing the work of decomposition. This is just one of them and one that I think is really fun to look at and watch. So here's the deal, everybody. If you would like to have a few earwigs for your compost pile or your worm bin, you can get them. Next time you uh, submit your data for your worm bin food waste blog, say in there, I'd like an earwig and remind me what school you're at. And I will email you and let you know when you can pick up a little box of earwigs at your school and you can take them home and have them to join the many organisms in your worm bin and or green waste pile. Oh gosh, they're fun. So earwigs are one of my favorites and you can read all about them. And more importantly, you can observe them up close and personal and get to know them a little more. Okay, so if you'd like an earwig, just order one up. Let me know, just say I'd like an earwig and I go to uh, Kaoha School or wherever and I will email you back and let you know when you can pick them up at your school office and you can have them for your very own. So this is number one invertebrate, the earwig. Get one, get a bunch and enjoy learning to get to know them a little bit better. They're really cool, cool decomposers. <laughs>